In this brief tutorial, we're going to mention uh, Grasshopper and its functions. It comes with the Rhino 6. For Rhino 5, you can actually still download it from the Grasshopper 3D website. So, in order to start the Grasshopper, we just need to type in the command line Grasshopper. And here we have uh, we have one definition that I already did. So I just wanted to share it with you and show you what is what is possible in, in Grasshopper. So um, Grasshopper is a plugin that it uses different uh, sets of commands which are actually representing some functions. So you can you can you can look at it as a way to um, graphically program a function. So you don't need to know how to code, but you can visually, by moving and adding uh, these elements, you can uh, actually make a function that, that can be changed parametrically. Uh, and what does this mean? This means that, for example, uh, you can see here that uh, these circles are uh, beginning to, uh, to grow as uh, they're are going on the left and on the right from this line. So this means that this line is a parameter from which the circles are starting to grow on both sides. Uh, so here I will tr just try to show you um, to hide this to show you what I mean. So as you can see, for example, if I move this curve, then the geometry will change. And if I move it on the right side, it will also change. So you can see that uh, the geometry behaves based on this attractor curve. And uh, the way that you do this is by uh, utilizing some elements or some um, uh, features here av available in Grasshopper. So this line can actually be changed. It doesn't need to be uh, this shape. You can actually modify it the way you want. And then the geometry will behave based on uh, the the line um, the other thing you can do is actually you can change the different amount of circles that you have there so for example if i increase this to 30 you will see that it will grow and it will change increase this to four you see so, so how it behaves and then the good thing about this is that uh, once you're happy with the final result uh, you can actually bake this geometry in Rhino directly on some layer. And this means that uh, once you finish with the Grasshopper, once you're satisfied with your result, you can go back in Rhino and now you can actually see this geometry is uh, the actual group that you can uh, that you can change. So you can actually make geometry from this if you want or do whatever. So. These are the basic functions of Grasshopper and uh, possible use case scenarios for Grasshopper are so so big that um, it just overwhelms the amount of time that we have here but it's used for different facade designs, for wall designs, for uh, different product designs and it can save you a lot of time. Uh, thanks for watching.